Alright, here's my ideas. Or something. Say you have one of these. Or some other heat generating device that you're already paying for. Uh, thought, or well known. If you have a device, wait, wrong one, such as this a thermal electric power generator. It takes heat if you have on one side, and on the other side, if you had access to cold like such as cold running water or snow or a cold window something like that um, you can generate electricity there's a YouTube video several YouTube videos on um, Peltier devices but if you uh, create your own come across just as an example Say you found a block of aluminum and have abilities to drill and make taps and stuff. You can make something such as this, a heat sink. This is just a little tiny one. But uh, if you have a, a larger um, water cooler, you can make. All you got to do is drill four long holes. Not quite all the way through. On one, si on one end, drill all the way through if you can see right here there's a hole that goes all the way through and then on this end there's a hole they drilled probably halfway and then drilled from the other side halfway and then uh, plugged it up plugged it up plugged there and there and then you have a way for your water to pump through you put it on your thermal electric generator pad and uh, you can keep adding and it's just like little solar panels only using hot that you have available and cold that should you have available um, this is a risky thing to do if you don't think you're up to it don't try it it's just a thought that I've had I have I've seen other devices I'm just thinking of other cool things you can do if you had a high source of heat that you already have to have for say whatever purpose that you would have something such as this <coughs> or like a fireplace um, there's a lot of fire videos generating heat there's a really good one guy from Australia I don't remember I put stuff in my favorites but uh, like a water cooled grow hood and then you can generate power as similar to like throwing a solar panel up um, these devices need like a jump start um, to uh, start pumping the water and then it starts generating electricity and then um, you can have that electricity run a pump or other stuff charge batteries um, this is just like a wish theory um, something I want to try in the future if I come across certain items but there's several different kind of heat transfer devices this is just one example that I just grabbed a picture but size you can put a whole like you um, keep adding little devices as you get money like there's some that are expensive there's some that are cheap you just get them as you can afford them and you put them on your grow hood or other heat generating device and say you live up north where there's plenty of cold water available that you can just like uh, run through the heat sink to get your cold water and then your voltage um, and stuff you can depending on how you hook up your little devices and uh, which ones you buy there's a lot of variables and stuff so this isn't cut and dry and you gotta plan since there's water and power mixing for backup kind of leak prevention so uh, you would have to consider 
um, a channel and doing a really well thought out plan um, so worst case if one thing fails it's not gonna kill somebody or damage anything this is just uh, something I thought out and I wanted to get the idea out there to anybody who was interested in something uh, there's quite a lot of uh, problems and concerns but if anybody that can grasp what this is showing um, why not uh, you can also put solar panels up along your plants the walls instead of mylar say you come across solar panels cheaply well, why not try putting them and then uh, just have a film it will reduce your voltage however a little bit's better than nothing and uh, if you can't get a little you can't get enough so uh, there's just other things to consider so say you got bright light you gotta pay for okay well why if you have a small fan why are you plugging it into the wall why don't you just get a solar charged fan they got little ones and cheap ones to circulate the air around your plants to keep the co2 moving around um there's lots of options and things you can do that just uh you change the applications and uh, conserve you don't have to pay extra to keep this and that doing if you already have sources of energy that you're not utilizing um if you're blowing air I don't know uh, um, the actual but okay your air is going through and has a harder time you want to keep your airflow as smooth as possible planes work because of the smoothest airflow you can get so grow hood systems there's all kinds of inefficiencies um, these clips are a horrible design and uh, there's a lot you can double pane and insulate with fiberglass and then another layer and protect yourself and there's lots and lots of improvements that can be done on this type of device and other applications that just aren't being done and nobody's doing I don't have the money anymore to do some of the things and uh it's just for anybody else who hey hey i got one of those, hey somebody who's who can put one together um i'm just kind of throwing out ideas and saying here but uh, uh there's several different uh you want a thermo electric power generator not uh uh, cooler is something different say you have solar power you take a little bit of solar power you can cool something down on one side and then put a heat sink or one side's gonna get hot one side's gonna get cold so you just have to like place something up against the wall or on something and can isolate that side and then you either have hot or cold depending on what you want uh, just handy little things that uh, put into a different environment could be useful um, they're not that dangerous you just can't get them real hot uh, they'll melt the solder and the wires so uh, that you use a thick metal plate uh, and uh, big fan heat sinks it's just other applications that I'm thinking of and if you already have, why not? So you just get as you come across and see if it works. You just add, add them in series and parallel to get the voltage that you want, and then uh, go from there. So uh, you can get you can come across these. You just go look in dumpsters, and uh, any old big electronic device is gonna have something, and. Uh, figure out you don't have to really pay for any of this except for the device the little gizmo thing and uh... it was developed in 
a long time ago, like 1890 or 12 or some shit like that. But this is just something I want to get out. Uh, lots and lots of places you can use this stuff. Should you have a high source of heat or um, cold water, say running to a reservoir that you're already pumping water through a line. So, okay, you already have the heat. You already have cold water running through a line. Why don't you use that cold water to cool above your grow hood and generate electricity? Something to think about. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.